Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm very excited because I'm gonna be talking about my third pair of Grant Stone Field Boots. This is a pair that as soon as I saw pictures of them, I knew I had to have them. These are, are in Snuff Reverse Kudu. That's Charles F. Stead Snuff Reverse Kudu. And when I first laid eyes on these, I swore that they must have been Snuff Suede, uh, the same stuff that Alden uses in a lot of their makeups. However, this is not that. This is a reversed kudu, and you can tell that when you look on the other side of the tongue. This is a really nice, stretchy kudu leather. They're very soft, very forgiving uppers. I got these in a size 8E, like I've been doing with all my recent Floyd boot purchases. I've been wearing them around for a few days. They're just phenomenal. They're so easy to wear. They're so easy to pair with things. All three of the brass boots are. In fact, I have my other two right here. So these are my other field boots in Walnut Bison. This is Seidel's Walnut Bison. This is my first pair in Saddle Tan Veg Battalassi. So there you go, all three right there. Can you believe it? <laughs> so yeah, I'm obviously a big fan of the field boot ever since they came out with them. I've just been in love. I really love their brass boot. This is the Grant Stone brass boot. I'm really in love with these. This is a great standard mock toe version, but the field boot is definitely, it's an adventurer's boot. It is a badass outdoors type boot. It's best at home, you know, if you're going camping or fishing or doing some sort of outdoor activity. These are definitely gonna be at home there. Not to say you can't wear them on the day-to-day -day though, like I've been doing these past few weeks. They've just been super phenomenal, super supportive, super comfortable. I love them. It's not a style that I would have thought that I would have adopted uh, years ago. After wearing them around, I realized that this is definitely my style. They're definitely me. Uh, I know a lot of guys aren't a fan of wedge soles, but I've become a huge fan of them, especially because they're so lightweight. Now you still have the full support of the full grain leather midsole here and insole. You have the, the lightness of a sneaker. It is really like wearing a sneaker. So let me read a little bit about this. So the field boot pattern is dedicated to the long weekends spent outdoors. It has the feel of a vintage leather hunting boot. Using the time-tested Goodyear welt construction, most importantly, leather components are used throughout the boot to create the foundation to withstand years of wear. The shaft is slightly taller than our average boot, but the unlined shaft, construction, and padded collar offer a soft feel from the first wear. While the pattern and robust materials create a strong base, the key is the full-fitting Floyd Last. It prioritizes forefoot freedom, which is crucial for all-day comfort. The field boot is designed for walking, working, and long weekend adventures. So Charles F. Stead says that kudu is an antelope from southern Africa whose skins have unique characteristics. The interesting finished leather is soft suede on the reverse side and a nubuck on the grain side. The fiber structure is well suited to our Janus tannage resulting in a strikingly soft touch on the suede side whilst maintaining a high degree of strength. On the grain side, there are interesting natural blemishes which have been highlighted by processing the skin as a new book. There are scars and cuts on both sides which are more superficial than structural. However, these characteristics make a unique casual appearance, especially in the stitch down construction. So this is known as the cashmere of suede because of how soft it is. Kudu suede has a luxurious, soft, buttery touch. The grain side of the reverse displays all the scars and scratches of the wild animal. So Division Road did a really good write-up on the Kudu leather. The late 1990s through the early 2000s led to experimentation within the industry, causing Stead to apply its tanning expertise to a range of skins from the antelope family, the first of which was Kudu. Bringing business to communities in several African countries, Charles F. Stead was able to obtain skins collected in the animal wild antelope cull. These hides contain natural blemishes, cuts, and scars caused by the environment, yielding a matchless product that has a combination of softness and strength, with no two skins being the same. Charles F. Stead is now known as the signature and finest producer of these unique hides in a range of recipes of new and old waxing techniques that enhance the natural grain. Still family owned well over a century later, with the original sheep's car and acquired Strenzel facilities still in operation. Charles F. Stead brings us some of the most resilient and luminous suede 
perfected waxed leathers, and a range of kudu tannages that accomplish anything they set out to do with comfort and quality at the foundation. And so Division Road has a lot of very attractive kudu makeups, and I will leave links to those boots in the description below. They've got a really nice looking Super Monkey Boot 5402 Morflex Charles F. Stead Storm Waxed Kudu from Trickers. They also have the Super Monkey Boot 5402 Morflex Baltic Wax Kudu and Natural Chrome XL, a two-toned. They've also got the Burton Brogue Derby in Snuff Kudu Reverse. They've got the Stow Boot 2298 Commando in Charles F. Stead Flint Kudu Reverse. They've got the Low Leg Logger 2298 Commando, Charles F. Stead Chocolate Waxy. So yeah, I'll leave links to all those Division Road Trickers uh, collabs in the description below. All of those are absolutely outstanding. And last but not least, I've got some Alden Snuff Suede right here. So these are my Snuff Suede Alden Indies. Got these a couple years ago. And these are my Alden Plain Toe boots on the Military Last in Snuff Suede. Absolutely gorgeous pair. By the hand feel, just feeling the Snuff Suede and the Kudu, they do feel like they're about the same softness. Though, I can tell some differences in the temper. If I had my eyes closed, actually, the Snuff Suede feels a little bit more velvety than the Snuff Reverse Kudu. It, it's just a little bit more rough, but not by much. And uh, the color is different. On the Snuff Suede, it's a little bit more golden brown. On the Snuff Reverse Kudu, it's a little bit more of a straw color. The Grant Stones are gonna be a lot more casual, a lot easier to wear with more outfits, in my opinion. These Aldens, I consider them to be more dressy boots, dressier attire. So I can wear both of these with uh, chinos and or a blazer if I wanted to and a button up. Whereas with these, I'm rocking these with denim with a lot of selvage. I'm rocking them with t-shirts. Whereas these two Alden makeups, I'm not really wearing with t-shirts very often. Uh, these are more appropriate with like a collar, semi-casual to, to dressy. Whereas these are definitely just firmly in the casual uh, department. But between the, these three field boots, I feel like I got my boxes checked. I feel like I have uh, enough field boots for any situation. I've basically got the full color spectrum covered here. I also like how tall the field boot is. I've lately become a big fan of tall boots. They feel so much more appropriate. You know, the Aldens, I think they're about six inches tall, whereas the field boot, seven to eight inches. Yeah, the field boot's eight inches tall from the bottom of the sole to the top of the shaft. That's an eight inch boot, whereas the Aldens, six inch. So yeah, I, I really like the eight inch boot. I feel like that's really the sweet spot for height. You know, it's not riding up your leg like, like a really tall engineer would, making it difficult to fit under you know, certain trousers. These fit seamlessly under any of my pants that I wear. I typically wear a tighter legged pant. They're a super easy boot to wear and uh, you don't have to make any wardrobe accommodations to fit them into your wardrobe is, is what I'm getting at. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. What do you think about these amazing new field boots in Snuff Reverse Kudu? I'm blown away. I can't wait to see what Grant Stone does next. They're always killing it with these makeups. And exciting news, they also launched their own women's line and they also have a new uh, Instagram account for their women's line, which is the, the Grant Stone's women's account. I'll leave a link in that description below as well. You know, the holidays are coming up. If you've got a lady in your life that you wanna treat to a pair of Grant Stones, uh, look no further. Some of these really high-end Goodyear welted boot makers are now making really nice boots for women. This is something that I've long complained about because, you know, when it comes to shopping for my wife, there's just no good options out there. And, but now Grant Stone has their own ladies line. And so I'm definitely going to be getting her into a few pairs of those. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see y'all in my next video.